I'm Stephen Ben Denoon with Israeli News Live. The United States is supposed to be one of Israel's closest allies, but that does seem to be dwindling with the Obama administration that is currently in charge. Of course, Israel knows that there is a strong Christian support that comes from the United States, and that has been something that has uh, influenced elections in the past. But those grounds seem to be slipping. Just recently, the, the Defense Minister Yolan visited the United States and tried to gain meetings with John Kerry, as well as with uh, Susan Rice and Vice President Joe Biden. All those meet meetings, though, were snubbed by the White House. A private source uh, through AP uh, News reported about this happening there. The source did not want to be named there uh, because not having an official capacity to do so. But as well, he did get to meet with uh, Chuck Hagel, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel, and even the United Nations uh, defense uh, person there, Samantha Power. And the United States even tried to block the meeting with Powers. But it was a little bit too late for that particular meeting to be blocked by the U.S. government. So what is happening with this type of relationship with Israel? We know that uh, Barack Obama has stopped certain uh, weapons being shipped into Israel. Israel has, has basically been forced to produce their own weapons, especially during the protective edge war against Gaza, the Hamas group there, the militant group. Israel was denied the Hellfire Stinger missiles for the attack of Apache attack helicopters from the United States, which put Israel in a very awkward situation, wondering whether or not their closest ally would stand by them in the case of any war. What if they were to enter into a war with Iraq? Where would uh, Israel be as far as looking to the United States? I think it's time that the Israel... Stop looking at anyone as an ally. In fact, there is a biblical passage that does state that God was angry with Israel for looking to the shadow of Egypt, which the shadow of Egypt, no doubt, is Rome of today, just like it was 2,000 years ago when Israel invited the Romans in, hoping that they would protect them, only to have them desecrate the temple and turn against the Jewish people. And here again today, we see 2,000 years later, or a bit more than 2,000 years later now, history is beginning to repeat itself. Israel, again, has invited Rome in to be the peacemaker, only to find that Rome will turn against the Jewish people. It's quite obvious here lately, as we saw another article by Arud Shiva that was brought out. And in the article there, Mahmoud Abbas had encouraged the violence by the youths in uh, the Palestinian youths and Hamas to attack the Jewish people concerning the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Dome of the Rock, as well as the Holy Sepulchre. Now, why would a Muslim guy name the Holy Sepulchre, a site very sacred to the Vatican? Well, Daniel does say in the 11th chapter that that prince that should come, mentioned in Daniel chapter 9, in the 11th chapter says he would come up strong with a small people. The so-called Palestinians of today, which the United Nations basically created, are starting to come up strong with the prince that shall come. No doubt, the Pope of Rome of today. I'm Stephen Ben Danun with Israeli News Live. Laila Tov.